Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm coming today with just a small up update, upgrade. Uh, yesterday I released new digital collection on my Etsy. And uh, today I upgraded that, that listing list, listing <laughs> of that of that digital collection. I added there one file to those customers who already uh, purchased purchased my collection i sent an email with this additional file with images inside i realized that not all printers allow the, the use, users to choose how many images you want to print on on one sheet it was happened to me before so for all those who don't have uh, you know when you're printing out and you can't cho choose choice <laughs> you can't make that choice oh my so sorry <laughs> So I made small update. Uh, I put those uh, index cards always four on one sheet. I made it with those alphabetical and also with those numbers. They are you know one till four, uh, five till eight, and that last one <laughs> because it will be all alone, <laughs> and I didn't want to leave that that number nine just all alone. <laughs> all alone i added those three images so <laughs> it's in that file and then was the same with uh, letter z and this one <laughs> oh my oh my and i forgot <laughs> it's epsilon <laughs> i forgot it's why is it why right <laughs> and so i added those two images oh Dear mama, <laughs> so, uh, and today I'm coming just with really quick, really quick sharing what you can do with those large prints. If you will print out the index card one on one sheet. So what you can do with that, maybe you will don't have any idea what to do. So you will uh, don't want to print it out like this. But I was thinking today, if is it use useful or useless? <laughs> So I start to fold it this way. I fold that card right uh, before that name on it. Like this. Ooh, I'm missing my bone folder. Just, oh, sorry, sorry. Bear with me. So one side is longer, other side is, uh, one side is longer, other side is shorter. Then I took a ruler. Oh, I'm again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm too big now. I can't fit in there. I took a ruler, pencil, and from this this uh, point, where is that line ending? I put the ruler under the letter this way. And I draw a line like this just under that letter and I took my scissors and cut that piece with my scissors which I am always so freaking out that I will don't cut it straight and here come on Come on, don't be scared. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> so I do have those two pieces. Then I flip it over and I folded this over the edge of that shorter side. Like this. I took my round, round uh, corner punch and I rounded all these corners that was one piece then i took again scissors and i'm gonna draw a line <coughs> for myself i'm gonna i'm gonna draw it and i will show you what i am doing here i'm gonna use the zeros like my help to make it straight 
I'm gonna cut this straight. So here I draw a line down there to make it in that 90 degrees angle or corner. So I've got those two pieces. I'm gonna use this corner punch again and with my scissors I will try to cut the letter E. E like Eva. It's like me. Just like this. Yeah, I think maybe I do have somewhere bigger scissors. So <laughs> it will be even better. <laughs> you know, I've got beautiful scissors. But mostly I'm kind of lazy, you know, to go to find them in my mess of tools. I'm not sure how I will cut it here. Will I cut it? I will. Here. And from this side it will be very weird. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Not too much, Evie, not too much. And here. And click. That's not too bad. Okay. I'm gonna take a vintage photo distress ink and I'm gonna distress all those pieces a little bit. I think this will be much better if I will, you know, uh, glue it on some cardstock and make another like edge around. But I'm just gonna show you what you can do with this card. If you will print it on one sheet, that index card, so what you can create for your tunnels. Then I'm gonna distress all these edges. And because this is just really quick sharing, I'm not gonna do too much embellishment. I'm just gonna make it simple. Like this, and here as well because this will be seen and a little bit here now I'm gonna give it try and I'm gonna take my oh, sewing machine and some simple stitching hopefully So with simple stitching, <laughs> not simple, I used again that zigzag stitching. <laughs> oh, come on camera. I did decorative stitching all around of this, this side and on this teeny mini small piece. I'm gonna use that distress ink and I'm gonna distress it a little bit to make it more visible on both those pieces. like this and now I'm gonna take a glue and on this short piece I'm gonna put a glue here from the bottom here and here aha uh -huh. not yet bear with me okay here and here on the bottom and I'm gonna glue it right here. And I'm gonna take this letter E where I can place. 
Yeah, it will be good if I will glue it. It will be much more stronger. I guess I'm gonna use what I've got here. <laughs> Leftover. Which I will actually like. Okay, I'm gonna pack it with this leftover to make it a little bit stronger because with that cardstock it's not strong enough so I'm gonna pack it and cut it again all around like this and I already also distressed all those edges and now I'm gonna glue it here yes somewhere here I can't put glue aha uh -huh. I can put glue. Oh, oh, oh. On these pieces here. And glue it down. So you can make kind of pockets using those uh, large uh, index cards. Then you will have pocket here. And if you will glue this and here on the bottom together with that larger side, you will have pocket from here. You can use it like additional insert in, uh, into your journal or you can put it to the middle of your signature, sew it to your journal cover and then glue it here and here and you will have this in the middle of your signature and you can use it like a pocket here and small pocket here so from one side it will be double pocket and from other side you will have this numbered page so this is my teeny mini <laughs> quick sharing and update for that uh, rose eternity collection thank you so so much for your amazing comments on this collection i'm so glad you like it i love that collection because I do love roses, they are beautiful. <sighs> they are beautiful, but I do have one, <laughs> one more flower I would like to create with the flowers. Some some collection. I'm not gonna tell you which one, but it was favorite of my grandma, and I do have finally managed to get you know to get those book here. So now I'm. I'm <laughs> sorting out new collection but it will be not yet <laughs> it will take a time so this is my quick sharing i hope you like this idea how to create you know maybe it can be used for some home home uh, sorting things maybe addresses put to those uh, pockets who knows maybe um, recipes receipts recipes for cooking you know something from x <laughs> probably <laughs> So this is my quick sharing. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. Have a wonderful day. Take care about yourself and see you next time. Bye.